in a past life, I was a history teacher. And it's interesting, when I was going to school to be a history teacher, uh, I went for what was called a composite degree, and it was meant that I, basically, I could teach a whole bunch of classes. I was licensed to then, after all that, to teach anthropology and economics and psychology and government, along with history and social studies, sociology, kind of that whole social sciences menu. And out of all of that, when I was in school, government was the section of that that I really didn't want to do. In fact, I ended up taking all my government classes in the same semester so that I could be done with it right away, which was interesting because it meant that I, uh, I basically spent like three hours in the same room as I went from state and local government to U.S. government to international government, which I was not great at international government. But it, again, it, it was not my calling. And then I did my student teaching, and I found that I loved government and teaching government and the freedoms and such that you could have in there and the creativity. Why am I talking about government? Well, one of the things that I always would talk to students about and was always a big thing was the State of the Union. And I, yes, I'm a little late on this. It was months ago, but I thought it was, you know, a good idea since uh, since we have the president come on and give the state of the union. Maybe I should give a state of the cave. Board games, role playing games, assembling and painting models and miniatures. These are my hobbies. I'm Howard the Blues one half of the popular podcast beer blues and bs and now join me as i rebuild my cave of Hi everybody, Howard Blues here, and uh, I, I know uh, this is actually a video that I have been wanting to make uh, for a while now. I, I kind of said it in my little opening ramblings, uh, you know. But but I, I really was uh, when I watched the State of the Union this year, and I've, I've watched it every year since I became a government teacher, um, which now, gosh, is like. Over 10 years? Yeesh. Going up on like 15 years since I was, you know, first teaching. Wow. Time flies. When you're having fun. Um, the State of the Union, I, I watch it every year and, and such. And yeah, I, I get a lot of times it's a lot of political theater. But it did inspire me that I should do a State of the Cave. And part of that is because the first video I ever did of Howard's Cave of Wonders was to introduce you to the cave but it was to kind of set up what the series was supposed to be about, which is me rebuilding my hobby cave and, and going through some of that and the organization and all that. And I've tried a bunch of different things on here, and that's great. I've had fun. I've, I've learned some things, like project videos. Not my favorite thing to film. Uh, and, in fact, tend to slow down the project because I spend too much time then trying to figure out how best to film said project. So no, expect less of those um, in the future. But, you know, I've done a few of the Kickstarter reviews and a few of this and that. So I want to get back into some of uh, what this was originally intended to do. And I figured the best way to reboot this a little bit would to be a state of the cave and to talk about some of the things I am stewing on and, and such. So one of the things you might notice, I'm filming from a different uh, camera angle and setup. And you might think, well, gosh, Howard is just developing that, that room so beautifully, and it's a great studio. Um, uh, no, un unfortunately, the state of the cave is it's not in great shape, and uh, 
here's the fun thing about the Osmo camera I use. It means I can walk. Uh, so let's uh, let's flip the camera around. Oh, my poor cave. Uh, the cave itself is actually looks almost like it did back when I did the first video, uh, full of boxes and such. As we've been unpacking this, unfortunately, the cave has become the dumping ground of empty boxes until there's enough room and recycling for me to put them in. So I have a slew of boxes. But on top of that, uh, my in-laws brought a bunch of craft supplies that they found that they feel belong to my wife, although we have found some that don't belong to her. But yeah, that's nitpicking. Uh, and so those are down here until we can get them into the cupboards. Uh, otherwise, you can see the setup where I was at. Um, but one of the other things and themes that has been happening is a lot of things have been coming in. Some of these are Kickstarters that have been a long time coming, such as uh, Solomon Kane. The rest of that uh, came in. Uh, in opening boxes, I found some of the collectibles I've held on to over the years so that I can uh, kind of decorate my set a little bit more uh, down here and, and really build that, that ca. Uh, that hobby feel. I have done some painting, which I have used as a success. Uh, mostly, uh, it's been uh, terrain pieces, and so here's kind of the the mountain or slough of terrain that I have been uh, working on. It's a lot of said barrels and crates and barricades and uh, this altar set that was part of Bones Five and some sandbags and things like that. Uh, easy projects. Of course, if you've been uh, following Beer Blues and BS, uh, you'll also know that I talked about my project to paint leprechauns. Uh, so there's my set, minus some, which I gave away to somebody who wanted. Uh, the new Suro board that I got. This was a handmade board uh, that was given to me uh, by my good friend Jonah. And uh, yeah, it's become a nice uh, decorative piece here in the cave. So there's that um, and such. Uh, speaking of kind of like the work area, uh, look, a box of stuff. Uh, yeah, other things come in. I'll talk a little bit more. Uh, um, but a printer set up. There's still remnants if I look from Christmas. My wife's trying to get settled in. I'm still trying to get everything settled in. Her sewing desk has become a podcast studio. It's where I've been recording from. And uh, the old painting desk is feeling uh, feeling full. Uh, hey, future project I'm going to be working on. Yeah. Um, part of the reason for all of this being so slow is there's been other uh, priorities in my life, if you've been, again, following our main podcast, uh, I'm expecting a baby daughter any time now as I record this. And so there's been a lot of getting stuff ready, the nursery, transitioning junior over to a, you know, a new room with a big boy bed and all of that. And so that, that has sucked up a lot of time and trying to transition him and late nights. So... Let's talk about a few things, and we'll go into the, the cave proper. Uh, so, a couple of things that I I want to do on here. Um, I, I do have another video that is like partially filmed. It involves the fun mess over here. Uh, I started making a video about uh, the gaming concept of groundskeeping, and uh, that got a bit waylaid and so I have a project on this table that is waiting for me to set up so I can do the rest of that video um, and and there was other stuff that involved in that and that's part of why Solomon came and is sitting over on the tiki let's uh, hop into the cave because that along with a couple other things uh, Defiance down there <sighs> Terraforming Mars Riot Quest Street Fighter Onk League of Infamy, Rush MD ICU, Gloom. I've had a slew of stuff uh, come in, a lot of these older Kickstarters, and uh, I need to consolidate them as a, and, and set them up so that they work and flow better 
And so because of that, they've been sitting here waiting for me to do the proper groundskeeping. And I just have not had time. And so my shelf, which this has kind of become the holding area for things like that, is looking overly full. Oh, the game collection. Um, the game collection has grown a little bit. Um, you saw some of the stuff sitting on the shelves, but things like, hey, here's Stardew Valley. Uh, the game collection hasn't grown too terrible. Um, I've been, as I said, much slower on things. But part of the issue is, as I scroll this over, uh, those of you with OCD who like your games nice and neat, you're probably, you know, having a having a heart attack. Sorry, did not mean to trigger anyone with this. But it just goes to show. Uh, this has been one of my big goals is to, been, to organize the game shelves and it just hasn't happened and i need to do that um it'll make my life a bit easier because right now when we play a game like stardew it just ends up getting plugged back where there's a space and not in a logical place or altogether. hence things like hey look here's pandemic where's the rest of pandemic well it all depends what you want if you come over here <laughs> look there's the expansions for pandemic but I also have Pandemic um, Iberia, which is somewhere, somewhere. Where are you? Oh, yeah, it's right there. So, I mean, which I guess is close. Pandemic is just up on top of it. But it, you get the idea, you know. Chaos Dragon is here, but the rest of Arcadia Quest is there. Ah. Yeah, so there's some issues there. Let's flip over to the miniature side. Oh, miniatures. So many good ones to do, so many to paint. Um, and I have gotten some more in, some from Kickstarter, some things like that. And it is a bit of a um, mess. And hey, look, look, eh, more games have migrated over. Ah. So this, these shelves need some serious organization to make them a bit neater, to make them fit. Part of the problem is I have a lot of things that are in uh, blister packs like this, and blister packs don't sit well. Um, but I do have a solution to that, and I, I'll talk a little bit more about it in my uh, future uh, game section. But uh, I have this pegboard, and as you can see, I have... Uh, some things I've already put up there. Um, but I actually bought some hooks, which I have now misplaced in the cave. Ah, they're there. Whoosh. Yeah, I bought some of these really nice, uh, long pegboard hooks, which are going to be a fun challenge because when they, uh, painted this, they got paint in the holes, so it can sometimes be a little bit of a uh, struggle to get these in oh my head clear but i mean look at that i'm gonna be able to fit quite a few blister packs on that i have 15 of these so that should help that should help relieve some of this clutter in here and by relieving some of this clutter oh, i can get things back to organized and neat and not just stacked upon each other and not Hey, here's some Riot Quest over here, but there's Riot Quest over there, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did manage to get uh, some bookcases in here um, that we didn't end up using elsewhere. And, uh, yeah. Got some books. I have some room on here, so that's a good thing. I might need that room in that space. Um, and again, I'm going to talk about that in some uh, in a future video so lots of things to talk about lots of stuff to do and so it, as i said the state of the cave it's not looking healthy right now it's a mess it's kind of gone backwards in a bit and it's a setback, and my time is going to only become less and less as I continue to try and do the podcast, <laughs> now raise two kids, <sighs> and try and find some time for hobbying and such. 
but that's okay. That's part of this, and that's part of why I invite you along on this journey, because maybe in your own life you are finding that you are struggling to do the things you're doing. You know, life can throw you a curveball. You don't have the time to hang out with friends. You don't have time to do those hobbies that you love to do. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll see we're all in this together. Uh, you're getting to see my struggles uh, as much as I share them with all of you. So, uh, that said, there's your, your state of the cave. You can see where I'm at. Um, I'm hoping to, to, to again, um, make some more regular content. Uh, and, of course, by the time you see this, uh, there's two more Kickstarter review videos that I, I, I'm going to do because Riot Quest is back on Kickstarter in a different form, so that's worth talking about. And, you know, I said that one's probably already out, so uh, look for links uh, and such uh, to that content in here. And... Uh, Bone 6 is up, so I need to record that. So I got two of those to record. I still have Kidder's gift video to finish, and I have a video on uh, groundskeeping. So I, I have content coming. Expect more from me there, even though I'm technically on a hiatus from Beer Blues and BS. Um, so I wanted to just give you that state, show you where I'm at, and... Uh, Hopefully you'll get to see some more videos of me actually getting some progress done around here and the cave coming to life and maybe I'll actually have art on the walls at some point. Uh, but wanted to share, as I said, we're all in this uh, together in the hobby field and uh, yeah, it's uh, it was fun to try and do this and who knows, maybe next year I will do this again and hopefully uh, give you a quick comparison of where we were and where we are now. So uh, that's all I had for right now. Um, as I, said, I was trying to get this in before Lefty and Junior get home, and I seem to manage that. And I've got some podcasts to edit and things to do. <laughs> Never a dull moment around here. So thank you for joining me uh, in the cave. Of course, you can find out more uh, or find more of Howard's Cave of Wonder on the YouTube page. Uh, just search for Beer, Blues, and BS. And you'll find the playlist there. Um, and if you like, feel free to check out some episodes of Beer, Blues, and BS. It's a great podcast that's kind of like your morning radio show, but a little less annoying. We drink beer on it. And, uh, I mean, it, it really is. It's set up to be a show for if you're missing your friends or you just need a couple of good friends. Hey, come pour a drink, pull up a seat, and, uh, and have a good time with us. So invite you to do that and uh that's enough cheap plugs for me who am i kidder and on that uh have a great one and we'll see you next time down here in the cave <laughs>